Ever felt like minutes and hours are being wasted in the endless scroll of social media? The allure of just one more episode, or that irresistible call of the comfortable bed? That feeling. When you have something important to do, but you just can't seem to get started. You keep putting it off until the last minute, or even worse until it's too late. You feel guilty, stressed, and frustrated with yourself. If that sounds familiar, you might be dealing with our old friend, procrastination. Well, don't worry, because you're not alone. Procrastination is a universal phenomenon that affects millions of people around the world. But why do we procrastinate? And more importantly, how can we overcome it? That's what we're going to find out in this video. Before discussing the tips to overcome procrastination, we need to understand what procrastination is and what impact it has. Part 1. Understanding Procrastination Let's begin by understanding why we procrastinate. Is it laziness? Lack of discipline? Or simply a bad habit? According to psychologists, procrastination is a complex psychological behavior that affects everyone to some degree or another. It's not about being lazy but more about dealing with difficult feelings and negative attitudes brought on by certain tasks. There's actually a science behind it. Deep down, procrastination is a battle between two parts of your brain, the prefrontal cortex, which makes plans, and the limbic system, which carries out actions. When the limbic system takes over because it wants immediate pleasure, we end up slipping into the trap of procrastination. Part 2. The Impact of Procrastination Whatever the reason, procrastination can have a major impact on our lives. It's not just about delayed work or missed deadlines. In fact, according to a study published in the Journal of Clinical Psychology, it can seriously affect your mental health, causing stress, anxiety, and low self-esteem. All these negative feelings can then result in guilt, and in extreme cases, even depression. The vicious cycle of procrastination isn't a place anyone wants to be in. The results of procrastination aren't pretty either. Poor performance, lost opportunities, and wasted time are just a few of the negative consequences. An article in Harvard Business Review even states that procrastination can lead to significant opportunity costs, missed deadlines, and failed projects. Part 3. Tips to Overcome Procrastination Now, let's jump into some tried and tested methods to break free from the chains of procrastination. It's not an overnight transformation, but these tips will certainly provide a solid foundation for you to begin the journey. Tip number one, the Pomodoro Technique. The Pomodoro Technique, named after the tomato-shaped kitchen timer, suggests working for 25 minutes followed by short breaks, say a five-minute break. It tricks your brain into thinking that you're only working for a short period, reducing the urge to procrastinate. Tip number two, break tasks into smaller and more manageable steps. One of the reasons why we procrastinate is because we feel overwhelmed by the size or complexity of the task we need to do. We think that it will take too much time, effort, or resources to complete it, so we avoid starting it altogether. To overcome this, we need to break down our tasks into smaller and more manageable steps that we can easily accomplish. This allows us to start a task without feeling overwhelmed by its magnitude. For example, if you need to write a 10-page essay, you can break it down into steps like Choose a topic, do some research, write an outline, write the introduction, write the body paragraphs, write the conclusion, edit and proofread. By breaking down your tasks into smaller steps, you can reduce your mental resistance and increase your sense of progress and achievement. You can also use a timer or a Pomodoro technique to help you focus on one step at a time and avoid distractions. Tip number three. Let go of perfectionism. Another way to overcome procrastination is to let go of perfectionism and accept good enough. You need to lower your unrealistic or impossible standards for yourself, or else you won't be satisfied with your work. You can let go of perfectionism by using strategies such as setting limits, where you decide how much time or effort you will spend on a task, and stick to them. Focusing on value where you focus on delivering quality work that meets your customer's needs, rather than flawless work that meets your own expectations. Celebrating progress, where you acknowledge and appreciate your achievements, no matter how small they are. Tip number four, engage in assertiveness training. One of the reasons why we procrastinate is because we lack assertiveness. We may avoid doing tasks that involve dealing with other people, such as making phone calls, 
sending emails, asking for help, or giving feedback. We may also avoid doing tasks that involve making decisions, such as choosing a topic, setting a goal, or taking action. Assertiveness is the ability to express our needs, opinions, and feelings in a respectful and confident way. To overcome this, we need to engage in assertiveness training, which is a process of learning how to communicate effectively and stand up for ourselves. For example, we can practice using assertive statements like, I need more time to finish this project. I appreciate your feedback, but I disagree with your point of view. I would like to ask you a favor. I have decided to pursue this option. By engaging in assertiveness training, we can increase our self-confidence and self-esteem and reduce our procrastination. Tip number five, set realistic goals and deadlines for yourself. Another reason why we procrastinate is because we lack clarity or direction on what we need to do or when we need to do it. We may have vague or unrealistic goals that are too broad or too ambitious for us to achieve, or we may have no deadlines at all that create a sense of urgency or accountability for us. To overcome this, we need to set realistic and specific goals and deadlines for ourselves that are smart, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant and time-bound. For example, instead of saying, I want to lose weight, you can say, I want to lose 10 pounds in three months by exercising three times a week and eating healthy. By setting realistic and specific goals, you can increase your motivation and commitment to achieve them. Deadlines can help you stay on track and when you set a deadline for yourself, you're more likely to take action and get the task done. Tip number six, change your mindset and attitude toward your tasks. Another reason why we procrastinate is because we have a negative mindset or attitude toward our tasks. We may think that our tasks are boring, difficult, meaningless, or unpleasant, or we may doubt our abilities or skills to do them well. To overcome this, we need to change our mindset and attitude toward our tasks by reframing them in a more positive or constructive way. For example, instead of thinking, I hate doing this, we can think, this is an opportunity for me to learn something new, this is a challenge for me to grow, or this is a contribution for me to make a difference, or this is a favor for me to help someone. Tip number seven, get support from others who can help you stay on track. Another reason why we procrastinate is that we lack social support or accountability from others who can help us stay on track with our tasks. We may isolate ourselves from others who can offer us guidance, feedback, encouragement, or assistance with our tasks, or we may not communicate our goals or expectations with them clearly. To overcome this, we need to get support from others who can help us stay on track with our tasks by forming a study group, a work team, a mentorship relationship, or a friendship with people who share our goals or interests. For example, you can join an online community like Skillshare where you can learn new skills from experts and peers who can give you feedback and support on your projects. Following are some other tips you can use to overcome procrastination. Eliminate distractions. Turn off your phone notifications, close unnecessary tabs on your computer, and find a quiet workspace to help you focus. Use a timer. Set a timer for a specific amount of time and work on your task until the timer goes off. This helps you to stay focused and avoid distractions. Prioritize your tasks. Tackle the most important and urgent tasks first, and save less pressing ones for later. Mindfulness and meditation. Practicing mindfulness and meditation helps us manage our emotions better making it easier to face tasks we find stressful or boring. Maintain a healthy lifestyle. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, and adequate sleep can significantly improve your focus and energy levels. Don't wait for inspiration. Inspiration may come and go, but the only way to get things done is to start and keep moving forward. Find an accountability partner. Share your goals with a friend or colleague who can help keep you on track and hold you accountable. Keep moving forward. Accept that mistakes and setbacks will happen, but don't let them discourage you. Keep making progress, even if it's small. Reward yourself. When you complete a task, reward yourself with something you enjoy. This can motivate you to stay on track. Celebrate your achievements. When you complete a task, take a moment to celebrate your success and acknowledge your hard work. Motivate yourself. Think about why you want to complete the task and what success looks like. Visualization can be a powerful tool. Finally, don't be afraid to ask for help. If you're struggling to overcome procrastination, 
don't be afraid to ask for help from a friend, family member, or therapist. Remember, everyone procrastinates to some degree. But it's when it starts hindering your progress and mental peace, you need to step in and take control. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Keep exploring and stay curious.